football coach Carl Frichty here. Uh, Warriors back in the state semifinals. It's been a familiar spot for them uh, over the last several years. Talk a little bit about uh, this team getting here and, and the accomplishment uh, year after year that, you know, what goes into that? This yeah, well, there go there's a lot of work, you know, um, our kids lift, you know, after Christmas break, we start lifting or we start doing our speed program. And then of course, in Minnesota, we can, you know, practice during June and July. Obviously not during the 4th of July week, but um, you know, our kids are here. They like to be here. They want to be here. Um, you know, we're really proud of that. And I think we're really proud, Todd, of this senior class, because to be honest with you, uh, they've had issues when they were in youth sports. Um, they didn't necessarily get along with each other. They didn't necessarily like each other. Um, but we're really proud of these guys because in June, we sort of attacked the issue and uh, they came together and they've really, uh, have become a true brother brotherhood um, and and the meetings weren't easy there was a lot of things said that uh, you know if you weren't a man could have hurt somebody's feelings but they handled it really well we we're really proud of them and they they let things go that in their youth you know that had split them apart made them bitter and they have come together and I can't tell you how proud the coaching staff is of that okay uh, when you get to this point in the season two is when practice moves indoors. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, because you know when you walk into Caledonia football practice in a gym, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it's a big <laughs> deal. You know, I mean, I, you know, I get a lot of questions always, why do you come inside? Well, uh, you know, when you go into those big arenas, um, the, the air pressure is really designed for the fan. For them to enjoy the experience, mm -hmm. it's really not for it's not for the athletes at all. So the heat and the humidity gets pushed down on the field, and it gets quite humid. And of course, we're used to the uh, you know the humidity outside, which isn't as high as it is inside. So it's just an attempt to get our kids ready to the hot, humid. Uh, you know, because to be honest with you guys, will be a little bit tired halfway through the third, the fourth quarter, and then they just got to gut it up. And it's not that they're out of shape; it's just not used to the different humidity.